Welcome to GRT Esports and another VR look around. This is the Nissan Silvia S13 1990 model. It's just been released as part of the latest update and as I normally do is I have a bit of a, a look around the inside of it. And in TV is really, really smart on this one, really high quality. The, the fabric on the, the doors and on the seats is phenomenal. <laughs> really, really, really good detail. Really impressed with this one. For some reason, I don't know whether this is to do with the update, but the car is stopped. I've got the brake on and it's revving really high. It's revving about 6,000 RPM. So that sounds like a bug, if I'm honest with you. I don't know if that's linked to the update. Uh, if it is, hopefully a patch comes out shortly um, because it's a bit annoying. But it doesn't really impact things too much. Um, the livery, you can see there that the, the replay screen is just popping up in the top right hand corner. Really cool livery by one of the GRT guys, uh, Tin Man. Um, who will be the official drift livery designer from now on because this is really special um, and that's what I've got this car for it's for drifting it starts off at about 180 something brake horsepower I think is standard it's that stock but obviously the first thing you do is you tune right up to its maximum which is about 396 brake horsepower so it's there or thereabouts it really helps to, to obviously to, to brake traction and to uh, get the back end out and this is my first run, my first attempt at this car, a Mount Suzuka East, which is my favourite, and probably most people's favourite uh, drift of course. And yeah, dead easy for the back end to go out. As I went in these very first corners, just testing it, and you can see the back end can just go out without really, you don't have to touch the handbrake, just goes out with the, the turn in of the weight and the power down, um, no clutch kicking or anything, just gets straight out there. And it's on the second or third lap when I have a, a decent attempt at doing some uh, longer drifting. Rewheel drive, obviously. And I think this means I'm now going to, to move away from my beginner car that I, I found in the Impreza WRX road car. And move on to this one because this is a, a, a well-known drifter's vehicle. Nice, and that's it then. So I'll just let you watch the rest of the, the video. Yeah, that's it there. That you hear the turbo. And you can see it really kicked on there. That's it tops out. I think just in from fourth into fifth, and it's still got a little bit more power down. So it's a, yeah, it's an awesome car. This looks great, handles great, really really good drift one. Yeah, back in, uh, back in a little bit there. I'm starting to get the hang of drifting more now. Definitely starting to get the hang of it. So I think I'll be moving on this car to be my my drift car of choice with that super cool livery. So thank you so much, Tim Man, for doing that for us. So yes, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video, and please like, subscribe, all that good stuff as well, if you find us at all in the and I'll be doing quite a lot of these. We'll do the, the Mitsubishi GTO as well, that's dropped in the update, so I'll have a, a crack at that and see what that one's like. I know that one, you can tune that one up to about 600 brake horsepower, so that's pretty, it's going to be pretty quick. From its stock at about 300, so we'll see what that's like. Maybe we'll do that one tomorrow. Cool, okay, well thank you very much.